What's up guys, welcome back to Whispering Willows. Uh, I think we're about to go in here. Another bathroom, above the other one. Toilet. This doesn't look comfortable. I don't know, I wouldn't think so. Blah. I'm a little tiny flame. Oh dear, through the walls. Oh, it's a maze. Where am I going? Yeah. Okay. Cut okay. Nope. Mm hmm. Alright. Back up here. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Down. Over. It's a good thing I don't have to go all the way back. I'm free! I can fix this painting! Okay. Huh. Alright. Anything else for me to do while I'm over here? No? Okay. <laughs> Dude, can I blat while I'm here? No, I cannot blat while I'm here. Da -da -da, crawling under things. I don't know where this weird house, but it's there, okay. Sheet music! Hey, a page of sheet music. I wonder what that sounds like. Oh, I just hummed it, apparently. Alright, well. Time to head all the way back. My spirit self couldn't blow this one over here. Doop -boo, doop -boo, climbing, climbing, and by climbing, I mean crawling. Crawling through the floor. Something I don't know how to make up words. Blah blah bed. <sighs> Tired, but I can't rest till I find dad. I push. <laughs> did I not open you already? Thought I did. Okay, it's stuck. I don't like hearing steppy steps. Please, please go down. Thank you. Sir? Can you stand in the fire? Hello? Oh, thank you, Elena. Thank you. I've been so lost without the gift of music in my life. Now I shall play for you the song I promised. Oh! Thanks, buddy. It's a weird way to get to the basement. Oh, he's still playing. I sense a great amount of death and decay nearby. We must be getting close. You know, or something wants to kill me. That's also a thing. What I've learned happens in this game. You must dig, Elena, and uncover what lies beneath. Oh. I don't want to dig. Get something to dig with. I don't have anything. I have the spirit with me. <laughs> I feel safer having flying hawk around. Oh, close, okay. I need to get something to dig with. Perhaps in front right of the house. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Great play in there, buddy whose name I already forgot. See if there's something in front of the house. Run! Pull up window. I wonder what this place looked like in its prime. No. Fleur La Rue. I arrived in California last week and have luckily already managed to find work for myself. I'm a dancer at the local saloon. It is not the glamorous life I had imagined, but it is something and that is all I need for now. The saloon also runs a brothel in its walls, but I can never resort to such a profession. Most of the town is owned by a man named Wortham Willows. He's a dick. I have not seen the man, but his name is on the lips of almost all I meet. He even owns the saloon where I work. There are rumors about him, some good, some bad. I do not know which to believe. 
He's a dick. Believe that one. No, I have to keep help. I have to help Flying Hawk find his body first. Okay. I mean, I'm looking for something to dig. Oh yes, hello. Blah. Two people. Hello, sir. Talk, talk, talk to any click. Anyone? It goes away. There we go. Madame Lou, Lou Rug. Who? I don't know. Oh my! It's been quite chilly as of late. Michelle Hirsch, please take my coat. A lady such as yourself shouldn't go cold. Why, such a gentleman. I thank you kindly, sir. Oh, I assure you, miss. The pleasure is all mine. Okay. Flat. Da -da -da. Back of the mansion. Ooh. Attach the bucket. There. I did a thing. Mm. Flying Hawk makes his body somewhere in the guest house. Okay. That's not at all what I wanted to do. <laughs> okay, what we got? Oh, hello. Blah. Oh, this is the back. Okay, I didn't realize this was the back. Sorry. I was black another time. Alright, so that doesn't help. Oh, to enter the well. I didn't see that. Alright, so I can go in the well and I can go in the mansion. I need something to cut to get into the conservatory. And I need something to dig in the basement of the, the guest house. Chill shit! That could be a thing I can get two things from. Anyone in here? I'm gonna check ahead of time. Nothing. I can grab a note. Oh, okay. John Elkhorn, two. Uh, this is the father. I'd heard stories of the place when I was growing up with my grandparents. And we learned about its history in school, but I never knew who to believe. The stories from my family told a dark history of brutal genocide and inhumane enslavement of our people. The Quantico natives. The history I learned in school was quite different. Wortham Willows, the forebearer of this place, was depicted as an independently wealthy tycoon around whose endeavors the whole town the town sprouted. The thing is, I can see evidence for both sides of the argument, and the evidence is strewn about these grounds. Okay. Black. I would like to take the shovel, thank you. I found a shovel, wonder how old it is. Never thought that about a shovel. Go. I can't run upstairs. She's very polite not running inside houses. What's your name again? I need to know. I can't know. Okay. Well, Buddy. Your name is Buddy, though. Thanks, Buddy. It's time to dig. I know. I can't run even if I'm down in the basement. You must dig. I understand. Dig. Oh no. This, this is right. I'm gonna have to run now. Oh no, we've unearthed these anguished souls of the dead. Elena, go get out now. Oh. Thank you for letting me prepare myself, though. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. Let me run. Let me run. Let me run. Let me run. Why am I walking? 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 I don't like this. Why am I walking? Climb up the freaking ladder. This is terrifying. Flying Hawk, how do you not know where your body is? I am baffled by- oh, uh, trophy urn, give him a hand. I'm baffled by this, Elena. I was sure my body would be found here. I remember falling. Falling down to- uh, the, the, the frickin' well! I was gonna go there, and then you said that you had to look for the body. It is not in the guest house. A pit of despair. Please, Elena, we must continue the search. I'm gonna go search down the frickin' well. Like a frickin' goonie. I'm a goonie. Goonies never say die. Oh, I have a really sharp pain in my head now. Don't know why. How did I get that? Grasping at straws. There's so much in this place I don't understand. Why is there such a feeling of darkness here? And why would Dad want? Why would someone want to take my dad? Flying Hawk doesn't know how know enough to give me solid facts either. I have so many unanswered questions it makes me want to cry. My energy feels so zapped from everything I've seen. But it doesn't matter. I have to keep searching no matter what. Seriously, I'm getting a slight headache. I don't know why. <laughs> it's the souls. 
game getting to me. Run! Hi, people! Hi, people! To the well! Down! Oh, dear. Oh, I get to do it! Woohoo! I'm a goonie! I'm a goonie! Even though they never went down this way, but still... They were in a well at some point. Oh, yes! We're getting close. I feel my body's presence nearby. Did you feel it before? Are you sure? Oh. Oh, I don't like it. This is far enough. My body lies just in the dirt beyond the walls of this well. Uh, there's a thing. There's, is that the body? Is that yours? Thank you for your help, Elena. I would have wandered endlessly throughout this world without you. I cannot finish my journey to the afterlife. I wish you luck in finding your father. I assure you he lives, but you must hurry. I'll be watching over you. Goodbye, Elena. Okay, bye. I'm gonna go up now. You can finally rest in peace now, Flying Hawk. I have freckles. I never noticed that. Because of you, I know my dad's in the mansion somewhere. Thank you for everything. Climb back up the frickin' well. Trophy earned, free bird. Silver trophy. That's a song, right? Free bird. I don't like being in the well. Please don't snap well, before I get to the top. That seems like a thing that would happen. It's a rusty bucket. Let's get out of the bed. Forever alone. Flying Hawk's gone now. He's resting in peace somewhere. I'm happy for him. I really am. He'd wanted this world for far too long. I just wish he didn't have to leave me all alone. I feel a little bit lost without him, but he didn't leave me with nothing after all. He didn't really help me at all in the first place. I don't think I would have gotten this far without his help. He didn't really help me at all in the first place. But thanks to him, I know what I have to do. I've got to find a way into the mansion now. It's so big and scary looking from outside. I don't really want to do it, but if it means finding my dad, I'll, help. I'll do anything I have to. He didn't really help you at all. He led me to almost be touched by little hands that wanted to grab me and kill me. Chapter 2. Wortham's a warrior? Um, no. <laughs> what is your facial hair? Okay, what are you? Five. Okay. I met with Quantico Shaman this morning, and it, a man named Flying Hawk. We met to discuss the battering, bartering of this land, but our conversation took a turn. He told me this is a uh, blah 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 blah. He told me that this area is rife with spiritual power. We somehow understood each other. Language barrier and all that. The veil between this life and the next was thinner here than elsewhere. We spoke of Martha that he could help me to see her again. I believed him and he offered me his peace pipe. <laughs> I wasn't sure, but the man told me it would help me to free myself. I partook of the strange smoke he gave me and the man told me I must go to her if I wish to see her again. That my spirit must be pure. <laughs> We sat in meditation for some time. My mind raced all the while. A bad paranoia seized me and I realized that what this med medicine man was trying to do. He would have me abandon my hopes for the future, have me live a life of savagery. I knew he was trying to poison my mind and I would have to wager that the smoke was of nefarious intent as well. I refused to abide such insolent ins insolence. I stood from my seat and challenged this necromancer Okay, shaman, necromancer, are two different things, right? Otherwise it would have said that. To fight me, but he did not stir. I wrapped my hands around his throat and still he did not move. I squeezed until I felt the life leave his body and he slumped down. I released my grip and my fingers peeled from his skin as he fell back from me. I exited the teepee and gave my men the order to purge these vile savages from this earth as God would command- No. Darby even made his first kill. I'd be proud of him, but he trembled by his horse the rest of the battle. It was just like a little girl. Oh, it was just a little- Oh! It was just a little girl. It's the girl at the beginning. Oh, I hate Wortham. Wortham, you're a dick. I heard statue. This was awesome. Maybe Wortham didn't have such a bad taste after all. You shush. Did you not read what I just read? Got a picture of beets? What is that? Nope. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. Up I go! 
Oh dear. Hmm. Wait, stop it. Nah. Give me that. Three. I'm among the few remaining of my bloodline, descended from the powerful line of, line of powerful shaman. I may not have the powers they once did, but my attunement with nature remains the same. It's taken me some time to recognize it, but there's a subtle energy at play here that permeates the very air I breathe. The veil between the planes of light and death in this place is thin. Spirits seem to pass between planes as though... as though through osmosis. It's almost indescribable the way I can feel their presence here. I want to know what it all means. Okay, that was the dad. I don't mean to do that! I can possess this desk. I am a desk now. I was a dresser in the last one. Now I'm a desk. Oh, am I gonna fall? Woohoo! <laughs> Trophy earned. What ghost up must come down, really? <laughs> it's a picture of a table with wings. <laughs> Why? Is there a door here? Why do I have to. Oh! Oh. Martha? Claire O'Halloran. My poor Darby. His murderer was never found despite my efforts. I was looking into his death, but something stopped me. To this day, I don't know what it was. Please help me, Elena. I can't rest until his murderer is found. Darby? Th that's... okay. The guy's friend. Oh! Oh! Wait, then I guess there's not a way for me to get- okay, yeah, there's probably not a way for me to get up besides that. Okay. I helped myself in advance. In advance. Man, I can't speak the female lost. Hello. I wonder who this could be. I don't know. Let's check out the side of the house. I have no idea who this is, but there's a person here. Blah. Hello. Ooh, are you okay? Darby! Oh, it's just a wee lass. Wortham's my best my best mate. You won't be getting past me. He don't want to see the likes of you. Your wife's more inclined to wasting time with little girls. Oh, so Wortham's down there? Can I please beat his ghost ass up? <laughs> okay, nothing else. Got it. Diary entry note. Met a huge man inside the mansion named Darby. He has a strange accent that sounds Irish. I didn't... Mm, no. I was thinking pirate, but okay. <laughs> uh, but I'm not quite sure. He didn't want to talk to me much. But he did mention someone named Wortham. I think Wortham was the man who owned this mansion. We learned about him in school. He helped to create our town. I don't know why that Darby guy would mention him, but he didn't want to tell me much. He even yelled at me, so I left him alone. I don't know why he'd be so mean to a little girl. I mean, he had to kill one, so... <laughs> Hard feelings. Oh, can I look at the picture? I, I didn't even see if I could. Mm. Wortham, Martha, and Marcus. The whole happy family. Yes, I already talked to you. Boop, boop, boop. Nope, nothing. Got it. The floor gave way here. This place isn't very safe. Is there something else I can bring down here? <coughs> Ow. A lever! Pull the lever! Oh, sorry. Up. Woohoo! There we go. Ah, okay. Magic. Wait. Oh, I thought something else popped up. Da -da -ba -da -ba. Ba -da -ba -da. Watch the hole in the floor. It opens the door. Move the what? Uh, I don't know what this is. What? What is this? What is this used for? I don't understand what's happening here. Blah. Yeah. What are you? You're a key. Give me you. I'm a key! I'm a key! Yep. Okay. Pocket. Oh. Boop! Did, did you get the key? Did me, did you get the key? <laughs> Flap. It's a floating key now! Gimme! Wow, this key had such fine detail and it was floating. Was there anything else down there? Gotta be sure. You can never be too sure. Okay. 
I still don't know why I need to move that. Was that over that hole? Probably. Down I go! <laughs> oh, no, still down I go. <laughs> Time to go across the hall. <laughs> oh, I use that just now? Doesn't look like much of a treasure room. Note! Wait, what? Oh, there's two pages now. Darby O'Halloran. Today is a day of excitement, to be sure. I'm traveling with my best mate, Wortham Willows, to, to the great unsettled west. We seek our fortunes there. I don't know why I'm speaking like that. And I dare say we may face many a danger. I have heard tales of beasts and savages that await us. Wortham is but a gentleman, and lacks my size. So I feel it my duty to protect him along our journey. Without him and his, I, don't know, I do not know what would become of my family. What would have become of my family. The Willows gave us work when none other when none one other would when none one other huh. I feel like it is my duty to keep him safe no matter what happens I can shoulder his burdens best I can okay nope don't care about that face please thank you Okay. <laughs> ah, this looks like a trophy room. Huh? I thought it said something. Trophy and what does the fox say? <laughs> what? <laughs> I thought it said something. <laughs> That's funny. Oh my. Oh, stairs. Okay, which are you? You are fourth. Okay. I've enjoyed delving into the mysteries of this place. There's not- there's so much to learn, and I'm not referring to all the books and pieces of history that just collect dust. No, I speak of something else entirely. When I was a boy, my grandfather taught me to communicate with nature. That it was the most spiritual endeavor I could hope to perform. At the time, I didn't understand what he meant. But spending time here has opened my eyes to the truth of the old man's sage words. I can admit these pages- in these pages, that I've seen things no other living man has seen. I ventured beyond the mortal coil and found the other side. I come back, but not wholly unscathed. I feel marks upon the fabric of my soul. But what that means, I don't yet know. John, what have you done? I'm a bed, bed frame. Did someone sleep up here? I want to talk to you. Who are you? Amiko Minami. Oh, hi -ho. Oh, you're Japanese! I am one of Mortha Wortham's many guests. A pleasure to meet you. Y Wait, are you a woman? Doesn't matter if you wearing kimono, you could be a guy. Eh, who am I judge? See you later! Go in the hole! Jump in the hole! Not. That's three. I read an order. Thank you very much. Hmm. New. Okay, down we go. <laughs> Through the thing I go. Time to possess a switch. A oh, place, thank you. Huh. Why? What are you? Why? Can I see that if I go in here? Just the eyes are there. But will that hurt me? I don't like it. Okay. Bison. What a cute bison. I just want to take it home with me. Don't steal. Note. Nope. You're number three. Hmm. 
bookcase. So many old books. I wonder what they're about. No, you don't. A letter. Whoa, it's a letter from Wortham. Note added. Letter to Jeremiah. Who the hell's Jeremiah? Jeremiah, I've sent this letter in secret. I need your help as well as your silence. Darby O'Halloran has died. By my hand. Oh! His madness has overtaken his mind. Though he was my best and longest friend, I cannot bring myself to handle this corpse. And I have room and a casket in the catacombs that I want you to place his body in. I shall visit it later. I also ask that you keep the grave unmarked. You are the only one who I can trust with this task, Jeremiah. I once again request your silence on this matter. You fuck. How dare you? Ha! Huh, why? What? No! 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 Does it come downstairs? What the frick is happening? She knows it's there. You stay away. Blarg. Oh, it, I think it's timed. Okay, but... I gotta keep an eye on it, maybe? It's really weird and I hate it and I hate the sound that I wanted to die. Okay, I gotta wait till it comes back this way, turns around, and comes this way, because I'm not letting that thing touch me. Okay, we wait. We wait, we wait, we wait. I don't know if it would hurt me if it can't- if it knows I'm there. No, okay, go, 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 go. Go, 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 Oh, oh, lady wife. I don't know what, what, what's their name again? Oh, Halloway? Oh, Hallow something? I've already forgotten. <laughs> Black. Lady, I have news. There was one other that knew of Orthan's deed. Before I met my end. I was to have a secret meeting with him. Tool shed four o'clock in the morning. He was going to tell me everything. Okay. <sighs> Outside we go. <laughs> run, Elena, run. <laughs> run, run. By four o'clock in the morning, I don't know what time it is. Was there anyone in here? I don't think there was. Do I have to set the time to be four o'clock? Use clock. So you want it to be just a little bit. Just, just perfect. Just get it to the. Frickin' twelve! <laughs> I just wanted to be twelve! I'm trying to move with the slightest itsy- Ah! Bit I can! I- When I press the direction pad once it was there! I had it! No, I don't. Oh, it probably doesn't have to be perfect, but I want it to be. Oh, it's bugging me! <laughs> Try to make it go all the way around again. Close enough. No, it's not. It's 
Oh my god, I can't get it to be 12. Blag. Maybe if I put it before? You're kidding me, right? Blag. You are the- Oh, dear. Jeremiah. I ain't supposed to tell, but Mr. Wortham asked for my help one night. Dug a grave for Mr. Darby. Kept it a secret till now, but I couldn't hold it in anymore. I buried him deep in the catacombs in a locked room where no one could find him. Oh, he's in that room with that key. Wait, no, he's not. The room with the blood! You can have the key to the room. I just want to wash my hands of the whole thing forever. Don't know why I gave you that. It's a bloody key. Okay. Let me out, please. Thank you. Alright, a uh, new diary with friends like these. That's a quest in Skyrim. I just can't believe it. The man, Wortham, he and Darby were best friends. And he killed poor Mr. Halloran. Why? Why would he do that? They were best friends. They never mentioned in school that he was a murderer. They only said the nicest things about him. How he helped to tame this wild land. And how it was thanks to him our own town existed. Not sure what to believe anymore. Believe the ghosts, because, you know, there were people. So, I'm going to end this here, as soon as I get back to the catacombs, which I think was through the garden? I think? Am I correct? In my assumption? <laughs> yes, I was. Alright, so I'm gonna end this here, as soon as I can pause. I already hate it here again. Alright, so thank you guys so much for watching. Like if you liked it, subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. This game is very interesting. It's got a lot of story, and I don't mind reading it.